Energy savings in buildings can be one of the key milestones and the key pillars to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Europe and to actually achieve the ambitious reduction targets which the EU has given itself. The amount of energy we buy from outside the European Union is 420 billion euros. 40% of that amount is consumed in the buildings. So if we save a significant percentage of this 40% we will save 100 billion euros per year. If we renovate buildings, we have cost-effective measures to reduce the energy consumption dramatically. But there are many obstacles and we need to address these obstacles. The policymakers are, have misconceptions about the upfront cost. They don't think long term. There's a very strong bias toward short term. This is partly a political, I mean, they're in office for a number of years. If we would heavily invest into the renovation of the building stock, it would be really an economic stimulus. A known study which BPIE did last year came to the conclusion that we can easily generate over one million jobs per year for a 40-year period. So you could really employ one million people for their whole lifetime. In Germany, we have a KFW program supporting building renovation. One euro public money generates seven euros private money. We have of course additional tax. People are not unemployed but they have a job and this is a business case also for the finance minister. The new energy efficiency directive for example foresees that member states have to develop renovation roadmaps. They really have to specify how to how they want to make the building stock, their own building stock in their countries future proof and much more energy efficient. The directive is going to help energy efficiency in buildings move forward. And the more ambitious the directive is, the better is, is going to be for the energy consumption, the energy spending in Europe. The directive is an important step. I think it's too small. We won't achieve the 20% target, which Europe has for many years. A great deal of the success of this directive will depend on how member states, how ambitiously they transpose it. Ultimately it'll go down. As far as buildings, it's very much a local or regional and then a local issue. I think there's a lot of opportunities for industry, for NGOs, for national parliamentarians and European parliamentarians to, to watch what member states are doing and if they just do nothing, Definitely we have a case to intervene. There is a problem with energy efficiency now. It's uh, partly due to the current economic crisis, the high unemployment. These have led to the fact that uh, efficiency has sort of fallen down on the priority list. The irony is that uh, energy efficiency could help solve a lot of these problems, but the policymakers are not prepared to accept this. We need to change the perception that renovating buildings is actually a cost, while in fact it is an investment opportunity which has an enormous return of investment.